On the Road Productions presents. All right, we're slating. I'm slated. Pronti? Ready? Pronti. Siamo. We're gonna prepare a, a nice uh, uh, pinna alla pizzaiola with a fresh mozzarella. Mm. Uh, in Naples, and it's a pizza, pizza, pizzaiola. So what we use, we use uh, some fresh tomato. I would say two tomato per person. Just a slice of the tomato anywhere you want, just to make it smaller. In the meantime, we prepare the same pasta because the sauce is so fast. Sauce. Sauce? Oh, that's sauce. A, that's sauce. you guy, that's what you're talking about, the sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Quick sauce, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's for one person. What do we do? We got the hot water going on over there. That, that's a great way to measure out the pasta per person. You just pour in the... No, no, in a little of dish, it's a portion of wine. Because I never know how much to, to put in. I always make too much or like way too little. Uh, anyway, we put them in. A little, there's lots of water with the salt over there. We're gonna get a nice oh. fry pan to cook. Now Mario, how, how do you find the... How do you find the quality of uh, tomatoes in the United States compared to in Italy where they're delicious? I've had uh, a little different depending on where they come from. Uh, some of the tomato they come from where there is a sand, too much water inside. So what do we do? We just put a little olive oil to cook uh, a little bit like a three tablespoon of olive oil over here. A little of garlic per person. Just mash the garlic. And I like garlic. And just chop it out like that. So just put a two for a person to put him in. Now this this here, what you're doing here in Italian, I believe is called soffritto. Soffritto. Soffriggere aglio quando è diventato biondo. It's the base of the sauce. That's the base of to give a little flavor inside the sauce. And you can smell. Too bad they don't ever just smell the camera there. You can smell it. It's <laughs> oh, man. That was hot! That was damn hot! Basil inside the fresh basil is good for you, you know, healthy. <laughs> now this is to kill the microbes? Kill everything. In the meantime, we got over here, the, the pasta is cooking in the water. We're gonna cover up with another yes. one, and just to let it cook uh -huh. faster. In the meantime, we got some of the fresh mozzarella mm. right. right here. We're gonna slice the mozzarella, they're gonna go on top. Sauce is take a five five minutes to prepare this kind of sauce. A little more water and about forty pepper. Just to keep chilling. A little bit, not too much. I don't want to become too fine. Take the pasta out of the water. We let it all the water go. How long did you cook the pasta? Uh, some of the pasta take about ten minutes, nine minutes, depends. Al dente, al dente. Al dente, al dente. When you bite through the pasta, you should feel a little bit of the grain of the pasta. Al dente. This is a dente. Tit in Italian, al dente. The fresh basil on top when you break with your hands is good. Mm. Or solid. We're gonna this. How about this one? Okay. Fresh mozzarella on top. Now, after you finish, you can use a little extra virgin olive oil. This is uh, when you use the extra virgin olive oil, right? On top of, to roast up. There's a raw topping. That's it. You put a little fresh pepper and oregano. Oregano for the pizzaiola. Just a little oregano. Little oregano. And it's ready to go. We put over here. We are a nice signorina. I gotta take a nice picture of this. Uh, all right. Miss something? Want the recipe? Log on. SauceTV.com. What's your stop? It's a 5-6. Roll it.